yo 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 what is going on guys welcome back to another flash crash video this is loma and today i'm going to continue breaking down bitcoin's price action if you haven't seen the past bitcoin breakdown videos i suggest you go and watch those uh, it'll give you a clear idea on how these areas are marked out the areas that we're looking for and the areas that we've already entered or looking to maybe do business in if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and do that now leave a like on this video if it's helped you in any way and let's get right into it so in the last video we left off with price being around 10.2 to 10.4 we got our spot entries filled and we caught the bounce so we caught the bounce and a bounce was actually right into our short up right our short opportunity so this was where you would have shorted if you were looking for shorts i personally wasn't so i did not short this but this was your area to short not here so if you're looking for shorts here right which is where price is around 10.4 you're fucking late right now you're essentially a late shorter you're shorting support and it could play out right it definitely could just go all the way down right and fill the cme gap that whole scenario could absolutely happen the problem is in the long run you building a habit of shorting support is gonna fuck your entire p l up i promise you that especially when if you look on the weekly This is a relatively bullish setup, right? This is a bounce right here. We're still above support. Um, I wouldn't say this is a bearish trend at all. We haven't broken bullish market structure. Uh, I see no point in being so aggressive with shorts that you're shorting support. Now with that being said, if you're here, I would still look to enter spot positions. So if you don't have a spot position, I don't think it would hurt to start averaging in around 10.2, right? This area down here, if we get a wick down to 10.2, even you can enter at 10.4 if you like. Uh, I think this is a good spot entry still. As of right now, I am still of the belief that we're gonna visit this 9,000 to high 8,000 area where I'm looking to really open up some leveraged positions, right? Some leveraged longs. Uh, until it reaches here, I'm not really comfortable trading this, right? It's it's kind of just here, right? It, it, it could easily just chop here for the next month. So with that out of the way, these are the only scenarios that I'm really looking to play. So let me clean up the chart really quickly for you guys. So we've already established that spot entries are filled margin longs in these two areas and longs above uh 11.5 okay um so the only other two plays that i could see is if we lose this area down here retest and that would be a short trigger right here and then you can target down to this area where you can start opening your longs and closing out shorts okay Another scenario that I can see is if price actually just breaks up here, right? So if we just catapult through whatever, maybe consolidate at this resistance for a little bit, this would be a long, right? So outside of my spot entries, this is the only other area that I would long uh, aside from, again, these areas that, that we talked about. So four long areas, one, two, three, four, the only real short area that I'm looking at, mainly because it doesn't make sense for me, and this is just a personal trading rule for me, to go counter trend. It just doesn't make sense because trading crypto in an uptrend is ridiculously easy. Anybody can literally, like anybody, anybody with a brain and some hands and may, may, maybe some eyes can make money in an uptrend, okay? Um, and when it comes to trading, you want to make it as simple as possible, as easy as you can get it, right? And it, it, it just doesn't make sense for me to trade the game on hard mode, right? Uh, I, I would rather just ride the trend. 
So again, that's my thought process on Bitcoin. These are the areas that I'm looking to long, right? And the only short that I would do is maybe if we broke down from 10K and then retested 10.2, I would punt a short there and then hope to get filled under the CME gap. Hope that brings some clarity to this price action. Those are just my thoughts on it. I'm sure you can scalp this a hundred million ways, but thank you as always for all the love and support. It means so much to me. Like I, I can't even begin to explain it to you guys. Um, it just means a lot. I'm glad that I can help you guys out and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.